Hello, Model Railroad fans. Well, in one of my last videos, I showed you the uh, siding I put in over here on the, the slack bin. I had to change that because these two locomotives paired together did not like going around this far curve. So I had to tear all that out, open it up, make it a little wider. But that gave me the opportunity to add some more space back here to these two sidings. So even though it was very frustrating at the time, I think it's turned out okay. The other thing I did is I changed the uh, couplers on these two scale trains locomotives. Their couplers are awful short. And I thought maybe they were binding going around that corner, so I put in some long Katie's. And uh, so, yeah, I had a couple of comments about people a little uh, interested in how these coal will actually load. And it, you know, this, this just slack bin is a special kind of debris and dust left over from the coal um, crushing. So the actual coal gets loaded by the trains coming through these two openings. I didn't use the third opening, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it. But uh, to do that, I would have to have a three-way switch down there. I haven't quite committed to that yet. I've had enough, I've had enough uh, time spent on this siding here. So what I'm going to do is run this train through the uh, coal mine it's just going to go through. There's going to be no magic coal loading. And then I'm going to show you another something I'm working on. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.
Okay, here's uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is um, I took that old uh, cement plant that I got f at uh, Concord Model Railroad show last year and he was over there in the cement plant area. I decided I needed uh, to simulate a grain bin here so I cut it in half with my Dremel, repainted it so I'm going to use it here over in this uh, baking district. Sorry about the zoom there. And I'm going to run some conveyors over to this guy and then across to this guy. And then I'll put some tanks in here for uh, my sweetener where tank cars can come in and uh, do sweetener. And then I got a little warehouse there that can uh, service, be serviced by boxcars. So yeah, this could be a nice little switching area. Now I want to show you something else. Okay, I got busy and uh, built my uh, co-op silo add-on kit. And I haven't put any decals on it yet. The other thing I noticed is this big gap between these buildings. So I need to fabricate some kind of connector to go between those two tops. Also probably over here where it connects to the main building. So uh, yeah, got that got that done. Now I want to show you something else I'm thinking about here at the co-op. Okay, what I'm thinking about is uh, extending this track so it crosses the two main main lines. Can't turn on those main lines, but then goes has a double slip here to get on this first siding and a double slip there to get on the second and I'll put a turnout right there so when it exits the storage areas or pulls the cars out of the three three sidings it can come clear across here and push these cars onto the, the what I call the Creston Yard and uh, so that'll work all right and then if I want to, I can pull them out of there, pull them out from under there, bring them along here. Then I have to use the main line for a little bit. And then I can back up this way over here and then store them in there or pick up some that have already been loaded over there. So that would allow me to pull, pull a whole bunch of grain cars on a train. The only difficulty is at the tear up more track. Yeah, got to tear up, tear that switch out, put that crossover, that crossover, and that double slip, and that double slip. One of those could be a single slip, which is all right. I have to organize that better. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah, I just love to tear up track. Thanks for watching.